Good morning, and welcome to the March 25th edition of the Dr. K Birthday Roast. Let's get started with comedian Spencer Hicks, who has a birthday today. All right, now Spencer Hicks likes to joke about uh, fundraising events. Well, you know what fundraising event I think is eventually going to happen? It's something that I realized when I was living in Mobile. Um, I was living in a house that had wooden floors. And at night, people would drive by with their windows down and rap music blaring out of their car stereos. And the floors would shake. And you know what? I thought 20 years from now that all the old rappers are going to get together and have a f televised fundraising concert to raise money to buy hearing aids for all of the people that listen to their music. <laughs> They're going to call it the Def Jam. <laughs> and they're going to finally learn what those lyrics actually say in the songs because all their TVs will be closed captioned. <laughs> Let's see here. Who is next now? Well, you know, I like rap music. Uh, but, no, I, I'll take that back. I don't like rap music. I liked rap music back in the 80s. But when you had Run DMC, LL Cool J, something with some actual musical quality to it, this gangster element the last 20 years has ruined rap music. The only value rap music has in society now is it dispels a racial stereotype. It shows us that not all black people are musically gifted. <laughs> you know... The Lakers are forming a similar function in basketball right now. They, they're they showing that not all black people can play basketball. <laughs> uh, their Spaniard and their Canadian get hurt, they start losing. All right, now we can get to the next birthday. Ah, let's see. Bill Fulton has a birthday today. Happy birthday, Bill. Bill had something uh, posted on his um, Facebook page yesterday. Kind of a Martha Stewart version of a glow stick. I guess if you're out at night or something, you need something that glows in the dark, you can make your own glow stick. Uh, he said, leave a Mountain Dew bottle one quarter full, add baking soda and peroxide. Mountain Dew, baking soda, and peroxide. That's not a glow stick. That's caffeine crack. <laughs> All right. Jetto Ramsey has a birthday today. Now, for those of you who don't know who Jetto Ramsey is, he is a student at Putnam City West High School. And I somehow I've become Facebook friends with him already, but I met him when I was substitute teaching at Putnam City West last year. And speaking of substitute teaching at Putnam City West, I, when I subbed at Putnam City West, there was a, um, an instance where two girls were standing up yelling and cussing at each other, and I thought they were about to fight, so I called campus police on them. The next week, I was subbing at Western Oaks Middle School, and I was talking about that experience, and somebody said, Oh, yeah, Putnam West is so ghetto. I never thought I would hear somebody say ghetto, talking about Putnam West. Shoot, when I went there, there were more crackers than a case of Ritz. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Russ and Stacy 
has a birthday today. Happy birthday, Russ Ann. Oh, now she has made three trips to Duck, North Carolina, which is in the Outer Banks of North Carolina. It's a beautiful area. I vacationed there myself. I was living in Alabama at the time, and I had a girlfriend living in New Jersey, and she would annually rent a house out in duck in the Outer Banks and um, every spring break and then bring her f family and friends down there you know her daughter would bring about six or seven friends down there and have a good time and she invited me to join them one time so I drove the 15 hour drive from Daphne Alabama to Duck North Carolina and I used MapQuest to draw out my route and you know what? MapQuest does not tell you when you are about to drive through a 1,500-acre wildlife refuge in an unlit two-lane road at 7 o'clock on a Saturday night. <laughs> and so I was driving along and was actually talking to Nancy, who was my girlfriend at the time on the cell phone, and all of a sudden it was, boom! Oh my God! I I didn't know what animal I hit. Okay, I didn't know I was in a fifteen hundred acre wildlife refuge, and it was very dark. So I even after the accident I couldn't see the animal. I assumed the animal went out into the woods and died, but. All I did, I got out of my car, I looked around, and all I could hear was this uh, noise. So, having only seen that my car smashed up with smoke coming out of it, and not knowing, and knowing that I hit an animal and not knowing what kind, I called 911. And the 911 operator says, asked for, first she asked my location. When I told her my location, she said, do you have any idea what kind of animal you hit? I said, I think I hit a cow. <laughs> Is it proper etiquette for a 911 operator to laugh at an accident victim? I didn't think so. I didn't think so. But she did, and she said, What you probably hit was a bear. I hit a bear, and she sent the sheriff out there. He looked at my car, and he uh, saw the bear hairs on it and said, I don't think it was a cow, <laughs> and he called the state trooper, and he looked at my car and saw the bear hairs and said, I don't think it was a cow. Okay, thank you. Okay, for pointing out that I'm a dumb oak. You got North Carolina emergency service workers laughing behind my back. The next morning, these uh, teenage girls that were staying, you know, in the Outer Banks with us were eating Easter dinner. And one of them said, Kelly, this honey bottle is shaped like a bear. I said, no thanks, I'm driving. <laughs> anyway... Enough of that. Deborah Elsey has a birthday today. <laughs> Deborah Elsey. Uh, among her family members that she lists on Facebook, she listed someone named Merlin as her four legged son. Which means Merlin is either mutant, a dog, or he has voted in Chicago. <laughs> All right, let's see. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching the Dr. K Birthday Roast.